What's up guys? The following video uh, was made nine days ago, which was uh, Wednesday night a week ago. Uh, I uh, made one of my favorites uh, for uh, the camera, my breakfast casserole. Uh, it's delicious and uh, I hope you'll try this recipe sometime. Uh, however, uh, you'll hear me referring to myself as Buffet Boy. Uh, reason why I kind of thought about starting a second channel for my food reviews and for my uh, uh, recipes and cooking and that type of stuff. Uh, those plans have been put on hold for right now. So if you hear that, there is no Buffet Boy channel. It's all just on Carolina Jackpot for right now, but uh, enough talking. Uh, let's get to cooking something delicious. What's up, guys? You know me as Carolina Jackpot. Well, this is my inaugural video on a new channel. I'm venturing out. What's up, guys? You know me as Carolina Jackpot. I've decided to venture out a little bit and try a new YouTube channel. Now, no, 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 no. We're not canceling the Carolina Jackpot channel. Nothing of the sort. As you know, I've posted several culinary videos here in the past on the Carolina Jackpot channel and some food reviews from different fast food establishments, this, that, and the other, and so forth. Today, I am unveiling a new channel here that I hope you will subscribe to if you enjoy the content here. I hope you will tell your friends about it and share the videos. Today's the inaugural recipe for this new channel, Buffet Boy. Let's get into now, guys, it. guys, what we're going to be making this evening is breakfast casserole. Has your significant other ever told you one early afternoon, I want to have breakfast for supper tonight? Well, you know what? We got all the goods to have breakfast for supper tonight. This is going to be delicious. It's not that expensive to make. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I got this recipe actually from my mom, and uh, she's a really good cook. Uh, <laughs> so I get it honest, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you all the ingredients that we've got here that we are going to put into Buffet Boys uh, breakfast casserole. First off, this is a 30-ounce uh, package of frozen hash browns. Been thawed out, and I uh, actually thawed them out with a little bit of water, so... Uh, had to drain them and uh, they are still a little bit crunchy, but that's okay. That's going to bake off. We're going to use a cup of sour cream. That's actually two cups. Uh, so I got to cut that in half, take the top off of that one. Uh, a can of cream of chicken soup, uh, just a regular size. What is that? Eight and a half ounce can of French onion soup mix. This is two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and two packages of sausage or two rolls of sausage uh you, you can use any brand that you like and you can use any flavor that you like as well uh, i like to mix them up i'm going to use a hot and uh a medium I, you know i don't know what your favorite brand is i'm sure somebody will get in the comment section down there and say oh uh, you should use tennessee pride sausage you should use jimmy dean well i mean you can do that uh i chose pernell's i mean it's got to be good it's got a pig on it right one onion chopped up shredded i did that one in the food processor this is a vidalia onion um and then you're going to have one of each a medium size uh, green pepper and uh, another colored pepper. It suggests a red pepper, which I would like. Well, that's festive because we're getting near Christmas time. But the grocery store I went to didn't have any green peppers or excuse me, any red peppers that looked decent. So I went with the yellow. So chopped up both those and mixed them together. So we have all of our ingredients here. And uh, we're going to show you how to prepare this. First step, we're going to set that off to the side. This oven is going to be preheated. We're going to do 350 degrees. Okay, so let's preheat that to 350 degrees. Now we're going to open the sausage up, and we're going to go on ahead and brown this sausage, and then we're going to go ahead and drain it. So I'm going to get busy on that, and then I'll be back in All just right, a guys, moment. guys, so we are ahead a couple of steps now. The sausage, there it is. It's brown, it's done, and it's been drained. You could cook this a little longer if you'd like. Or you could crumble it up a little bit easier. I chose not to do that. Uh, and the mixture uh, that you see here, this is the hash browns from earlier. I added the cream of chicken soup, 
the can of French onion dip and the sour cream, the one cup of sour cream. Mix that all up really good. That all goes in there together in that one big mixing bowl. Now you're gonna add in your bell pepper. Get that in there real nice. And then you're gonna add your onion. Go on ahead and fold that on in. And then the cheddar cheese. Right, there we go. The two cups of cheddar. And this is all gonna get mixed up together. There you go, guys. There's the finished product as far as that goes. All that mixture blended together. Um, now, when we have the red peppers in here, I, I like it a lot better because it really pops. Looks really nice. You gotta kind of look real hard. There's one right there. And see those yellow peppers. So the red one makes it look a lot more festive. Like I said, the old uh, local grocery store that I go to didn't have any decent looking red peppers. You can actually use two green peppers if you want. It really doesn't matter. So we got our sausage and we got this. That's really all we need. Well, we're going to use this for the base here. And this is just a, uh, a disposable, one of those throwaway baking pans. I think this is what, 8 by 12 comes in a pack of three. I like to use these throwaway ones sometimes because that's one big dish that I don't have to clean up. And what we're going to do is layer this, guys. We're going to alternate layers here. Starting with a layer of the hash brown mixture and then a layer of sausage. And then we're going to repeat those layers, kind of like a lasagna. So you want to get a pretty good amount of it into the pan for your base. When I do things like this, like this, like a, a spaghetti or a spaghetti baked, Give you baked spaghetti, a casserole, you know, a lasagna, things like that. I like the first layer to be a lot deeper than that second layer. It's because it lets me know what I got left to play with. You know what I'm saying? We're going to spread all that spread out really nice there. And we're going to go with the sausage now. And we can do about half of this. And I'll use a spatula, it kind of spreads it around evenly. That and while my other utensils are dirty, don't use the same utensil to put your sausage in there and spread it out as you mix your um, sour cream, hash brown, onion slash pepper mixture up with. That's just nasty. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to be classy. You want to use some decent utensils and you don't want to mix up stuff with your meats. Mix up stuff with your meats. All right, get it spread out there just a little bit. Just a tad more, just a drop more. Just put a little sausage over there. Put a little sausage over in the zip code where we don't have any sausage living. You know what I'm saying? Just give it a little pat. All right, now we're going to alternate those last two Boom, layers. Finish with the prep. As you see, this next layer of the hash brown mixture totally covered the sausage. Got it covered up all the way. No sausage peeking out. No peeking out from under the covers, boo-boo. And then we topped it off with the uh, sausage. Now, if you were making any more than this, you'd have to get a deeper dish than what I've got here. Because uh, it's almost overflowing this thing. You know what I'm saying? The thing is almost overflowing its banks. But we are right at where we need to be. And if I had to say anything about this, you could almost you could almost use um, a third roll of sausage. Because it really, it really just doesn't do it justice. Uh, you know, I, I would maybe go with um, a hot and two mediums if you were going to do that. Or a three milds or a hot mild to medium. I mean, just whatever you want to do. Uh, it doesn't matter. The recipe only calls for two rolls. But as you know, there are variants to every recipe. People customize them and uh, do things to them uh, to make them better. Um, yeah, so that's what they do. Anyway, now we need to cover this up with a sheet of so there we go with that and we are covered up with one sheet of aluminum foil 
if you uh, ever shop at the discount store, Roses, they actually sell these foil pans like this size for like 50 cents. And they actually have a top that goes on them and fits on there perfectly. And it has sides on it that you can close up all the way around it. It's like 29 cents. So it's a lot cheaper than buying it from the grocery store. This one actually came from the grocery store and that aluminum foil just came off a sheet from Food Lion. But we're gonna set the timer, guys, for exactly uh, 20 minutes. We need kitchen timer, not cook. We're gonna go 60 minutes. One hour in the 350 degree oven of Buffet Boy. That's actually the last really difficult step. Now, it's just time to wait. And 60 minutes is a long time to wait when you're hungry, but this is gonna be absolutely delicious. I can promise you that. No peeking. Don't mess with that foil. Don't take it up. Don't try to look in there. Don't look on in, don't look in on what's going on. There's magic happening underneath that foil. There is magic happening underneath that foil, believe me. Right now, it's Miller time, and it's time to pop into a cold one. Sit back, relax, go feed the dog. Go feed the dog, or watch the dog lick himself. Or go do whatever you gotta do. Go take a bath, go take a nap. Who cares? You got an hour. Folks, that one hour is up. Let's see what we got coming out of the oven. Let's see how she looks. Mm. Oh my goodness. Not a lot different than when it went in, but that's okay. It won't. We're gonna give this a chance to cool off. Probably about a good 15 to 20 minutes, and then we're gonna dive on in. There's our finished product, folks, and now it is time for Buffet Boy to dive in for the taste test. Let's see how it does. Mmm. All that stuff cooked in so nice. Looks like it's great when it's warm, but when it has a chance to, you know, sit for an hour or so, and it's still a little warm inside, and it cools down, and it kind of all settles together. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Really good. Mm. Affordable, not hard to make, doesn't leave a big mess. Guys, you cannot go wrong. Any time of day, breakfast casserole tops on my list. Buffet Boy out. I'll see y'all later, guys. I'm going to link that recipe down in the description box below. Check it out and uh, tell me what you think. Appreciate it. Peace, and I'm out.